Let's take a look in this one at finding a unit vector in the direction of the vector 2, 4, and then we will rationalize the result. First, let's just write the formula down. So the formula looks like this. You have usually u, which is short for unit. You put an arrow above this, and this is defined as v, whatever v is, and then it's divided by the magnitude of v this way. So this is the formula, which means since we already have v, we just have to compute the magnitude of v, which is uh, the magnitude of 2, 4, in other words. So let's go through that process. v between double bars on either side, and then here apply the Pythagorean theorems. So 2 squared plus 4 squared. Then you just have to simplify this. So 2 squared is 4 plus 16 here. So now this will be 20. Then you just have to break this into individual pieces and simplify a little bit more. So this would be 4 times 5. And then you can distribute the square root. So it's going to be the square root of 4 times this way. The square root of 5. The square root of 4 is 2. And then you copy the other part. So it becomes 2 root 5. Then from here you can form v divided by the magnitude of v, or u in other words. So u is, remember, v divided by the magnitude of v. Here's going to look like the following then. You're going to have here 2 comma 4, and this has to be divided now by the 2 root 5, that value right here. Let's do that right now, so 2 and then root 5. What you have to do now is rationalize this because there's a square root in the bottom. So let's just distribute this as follows at first. You're going to have to have in this position 2 over 2, and then the square root of 5, comma, and then here it's going to be 4 over 2, square root of 5. Simplify this a little bit. So in the first fraction, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then you have the square root on the bottom. So as a first stage, it would look like this now. 1 over the square root of 5. For the second one, you have 4 divided by 2, that's 2 in the top. So 2, and in the bottom you would also then have the square root of 5. Now I just have to rationalize each one. So again, it's going to look like the following. I'm going to take the first term. I'm going to multiply by the root of 5 over the root of 5, like this in other words. So the root of 5 over here, the root of 5. You're going to have to do that to the second one also. So you're going to take the second one, and you're going to multiply by this root of 5 over the root of 5. Remember, the root of 5 over the root of 5 is just 1. And then you simplify this a little bit. So for this part right here that I've highlighted, 1 times the root of 5 is 5, but on the bottom you would have the root of 5 times the root of 5, which is just 5 positive. So that means all the way back here, well, it's going to look like this now. As a first stage, you would have the square root of 5 hanging over 5. And for the second one, you're going to have 2 times the root of 5 over the root of 5 times the root of 5, which is just 5. So it's going to look like this, therefore. 2, square root of 5 over 5. And then it looks like this. As a reminder, on the side here, whenever you have this kind of quantity, so for example, imagine you have the square root of a times the square root of a. What this really means, using exponential notation, is a raised to the 1 half times a raised to the 1 half. And then by the basic laws of exponents, it's a raised to the 1 half plus 1 half. Now 1 half plus 1 half is just 1. So that means this whole thing here ends up being a raised to the first, which normally we just write as a. And that's why you get the 5 on the bottom in this position, another 5 on the bottom in this position. Thanks so much. Please leave a like and subscribe.